Hello there, Vic Benedict here. We're playing Dark Souls 3. This is my guide and walkthrough for um, this incredibly difficult game. I did not think I would be able to beat this title, and I've played through the campaign like, well, I should say the beginning part of the game up till like midway through. I've played it like four times, so very comfortable with the game at this point. Um, had a hell of a lot of troubles though beating this thing. A uh, nightmare. I would call it a nightmare on many bosses. This game, it, uh, it's basically a killing machine in action. And at length, you're going to turn into a killing machine yourself. It's just that you're going to have to put in some time and practice to get comfortable with the game. There's really no other way to say it. And I love this game. I really do. Really love it. So this is part one, it's uh, Cemetery of Ash, and we're going to head on over here. It's not necessary to buff that many times, I was just doing it for fun. And we're going to deal with uh, this crystal monster here. Um, I'm not really going to talk about this area too much. This is going to be a guide where we go from bonfire to bonfire. Um, Sometimes there will be more than one bonfire if they're close together, because some of them kind of are. Um, strange though, you guys. I initially downloaded this game like two weeks after it came out, or I think it may maybe just a week after I had got done with a game that I hated called Quantum Break, but... Um, and I installed it onto a hard drive, and then a couple weeks later I bought an SSD and I cloned my hard drive to the SSD. Um, and the loading times, it's kind of strange because they're not longer on an SSD, but they're not shorter. They're like the same. And it even feels like they are a little bit longer on an SSD. And how can that make any sense? But maybe it's not that they're longer. Maybe it, I think it, they're actually just the same. So, um,. Strange. I thought I would get decreased loading times and I just ended up not getting them. Maybe it's due to my processor or my graphics card. I have no idea. Um, I should mention that we're playing this game on the PC on max settings. And it runs beautifully. There's a couple of times, like, like some areas that are specifically... Um, uh, they're, they're not, it's not that they're optimized poorly, it's just that there's a lot of stuff going on on the screen and it happens every time you get to certain parts but yeah gorgeous game really beautiful but it does have some issues but not too many and we'll get to those um, but anyway take care